The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website. Let's get right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome, welcome to the very first ever Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and I am going to be your host for this extravaganza. This is a podcast for people like you who are web designers, people like me who are web designers. But here's the thing. Hopefully my intro didn't fool you. Uh, It was very slick and very cool. Uh, This is not going to be a very slick or very cool podcast. Uh, It's going to be kind of an everyday podcast. Hey, there I am. I was just going to say hi. 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 Um, where I, you know, basically just go through some real world examples of some stuff. I'm not going to spend forever creating these. Uh, I'm not going to edit them all fancy and slick. Uh, but instead we're just going to go through some real world stuff, uh, to show you some tips and tricks of the Drupal content management system of CSS, of Photoshop, of all kinds of different stuff. Today's premiere episode is going to be a simple one. I'm going to show you how to properly take, uh, an element in HTML and use CSS to replace that element with an image while keeping everything in place for uh, things like uh, the Google robots we all love or for screen readers or any of those things, uh, making sure the text is still in there so any anything that's not visual can actually still read them. So uh, let's proceed on to this. Uh, if you look here, all I've got is uh, just a sort of generic uh, website layout uh, in Drupal. Uh, you don't have to be using Drupal. This is just going to be a CSS trick uh, to show you. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text uh, right here, and I'm going to turn this, uh, I'm going to use an image to show this text instead of just the text itself. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to edit this. You can see right now I'm using H2 tags, uh, which is a good, uh, nice semantic thing to put as my page title. Uh, you might be saying, hey, I got an idea. Let's just do something like this. Uh, you know, you might go, hey, let's just do images... Welcome.jpg. I cannot type today. And, uh, you know, put in your image and just do that. Uh, Here's the problem. Uh, Screen readers don't really like this because it can't read an image. Uh, Google doesn't like this. Yahoo doesn't like this. Even if you put in an alt tag, that's still not the best. Uh, What you really want in there is you want... You still want this. That means if a screen reader comes along, if uh, a bot comes along, if anything that can't visually see your image that you're about to put in comes along, it's still going to be able to read this. Uh, If for some reason images don't render on your site, this will still show up uh, if CSS uh, doesn't render properly. Uh, So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this H2 tag uh, just as it is and uh, create an image instead. Uh, So all we're going to do first is we're going to add a class called Welcome. And then we're going to submit that. And it still looks the same right now. We haven't done anything yet. Uh, So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Photoshop here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the image. I'm going to create this welcome image that I need uh, that I'm going to replace. And let's say we're going to make it... uh, You're not going to be able to see all my Photoshop stuff, unfortunately. Uh, Let's say we're going to make it, uh, I don't know, 200 by 50. Sounds good to me. Okay, so... Let's just make an image. Something like this. As I said, I can't type today. Uh, I'm just going to apply some styling to it. Let's make it, uh, I don't know. Let's make it kind of crazy. Let's make it orange. Uh, We've got some nice styling there. Uh, Let's add a, you know, let's add a drop shadow. Stuff we couldn't do otherwise. Oh, that's pretty ugly. Stuff we couldn't do otherwise in HTML or CSS. That's all I'm really getting at here. So I'm going to trim this down to the size that I want it. Um, And then I'm going to go ahead and save this out. I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to call that JPEG welcome.jpg. 
So now what I'm going to do is I need to throw that JPEG into my theme folder, which happens to be right here. And all I'm doing, if you're not using Drupal, all I'm doing here is just making the uh, image accessible uh, to my CSS, which is what I'm going to do. So now I have my image. I know I want to replace it. Uh, first thing I have to know is the exact size of this image. So I'm going to get the image size in Photoshop, 197 by 27. Uh, we're going to want to remember that. Let's go back to our style sheet. Uh, and now let's uh, style this thing up. So we had uh, H2 welcome. Uh, a bunch of stuff we're going to want to do here. Basically, the method is uh, going to be taking uh, the text uh, setting it to a fixed size, and then pushing the text out of the way and setting a CSS background image instead, uh, which is going to be our image. Uh, this makes sure that uh, it's completely accessible uh, to all the, all the different uh, bots and screen readers and stuff like that. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to put in a width. This is going to be the width of our image. Once again, if we look back, it's 197. So our width is 197. Our height, uh, stand by for this, but our height's going to be zero. Uh, and actually what we're going to do there is, if our height is zero, then our text isn't going to show uh, because it's zero uh, pixels high. And then if we put a padding just on the top, and we want that padding top to be our height, 27. What this is going to do is this is going to allow our image to show, but it's going to push the text out. Now, normally, this would still show the text because uh, it would just pu push it below the div. So we want to make sure our overflow is set to hidden. Now we can go ahead and we can put in our image, our background image. And just in case, I'm going to set it to not repeat. So uh, what we've done here is created a little CSS that will make our background image show uh, and uh, will not uh, show the text. Uh, it'll, it'll hide it with this overflow. So let's go back. I'm going to shift refresh and let's see what we did. And there we go. We just replaced our uh, text with a very, very friendly image uh, that if we turned off our CSS style sheet, we'd get the text. Uh, bots can still read it. Uh, it's still in H2, so search engines know what's happening. It's a good thing all the way around. You can see we did very little to our markup. All we did was add a class, and we were able to replace that. That's it. Hopefully that was helpful to you. We'll see you next time on the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. Don't forget to jump over to my other podcast over at geeksandgod.com. That is an audio podcast about uh, technology and ministries, and there's a huge discussion community over there. So if you're a Drupal or a HTML or a CSS guy, uh, jump on over there and join that community as well. Take care.